Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In my previous video, we saw how to find first part of the solution to linear differential equations with constant coefficients. We called it as complementary function. Link of that video is given in the description box. Now in this video, we will learn how to find second part of the solution to linear differential equations with constant coefficients. We call it as particular integral. There are two methods of finding particular integral out of which in this video, I am covering only first method of finding particular integral. So let us see how to find particular integral that is second part of the solution to linear differential equations with constant coefficient. Assume your differential equation is given by f of d into y is equal to x where x is a function of small x. Then the corresponding particular integral is given by yp is equal to 1 upon f of d into x. We just took this f of d on the other side to get the particular integral denoted by yp. So it is 1 upon f of d into x. Since this d is a derivative operator, f of d also becomes a operator. So, 1 by f of d is also become an operator. Now, we have to operate this 1 by f of d on this capital X that is function of X and we have to find its value. As I said, we are going to see only first method of finding particular integral that is value of this thing in this video. So, in this video, I am going to cover various cases on function of d and I'll show you how to find out value of 1 by f of d of x. I have prepared a small chart for that. In this chart, in this first column, I'll show you various cases on f of d and in the second column, I'll show you their corresponding value. If f of d is just d, then this 1 by f of d of x will look like 1 by d of x. Since this d is derivative, 1 by d is inverse of derivative and we know that inverse of derivative is integral. So, 1 by d of x is obtained by solving integral of x into dx. Now, let me show you the second case. If f of d is of the type d minus a, where a is any constant term, then 1 by f of d of x will look like this. Then value of 1 upon d minus a of x is given by e raised to ax into integration of e raised to minus ax into x dx. Similarly, if f of d is of the type d plus a, then value of 1 upon d plus a of x is given by e raised to minus ax into integration of e raised to ax into x dx. Now next we see what will happen if f of d is product of all these three cases that is f of d is d into d minus a into d plus a. Look at here. Then corresponding particular integral is given by 1 upon d into d minus a into d plus a of x. To solve this, we have two different approaches. According to first approach, we can use partial fraction and we can split this term into three different terms like this. And then individually we can operate every term on this x in this way. Now, after this point, we can use these three formulas of 1 upon d minus a of x, 1 upon d plus a of x, and 1 by d of x and we can evaluate the value of this particular integral. Now let me show you the second approach of solving the same thing. In this approach, we are going to put proper parenthesis in this expression. So inside we will write 1 upon d plus a of x. Outside of that we will write 1 upon d minus a and outside of that we will write 1 upon d. Now to solve this expression, we first solve this inside bracket 
that is 1 upon d plus a of x. This can be solved using this formula. Assume value of 1 upon d plus a of x is y. Then we will find out value of 1 upon d minus a of y using this formula. Assume value of 1 upon d minus a of y is z. Then finally we can find out value of 1 upon d of z using integral technique. As 1 by d is integral, so finally we have to find integral of z. In this way we can find the value of corresponding particular integral. Now let me show you how to find out particular integral through some real examples. In this question we are asked to find particular integral of d of y is equal to x square. So here particular integral is given by 1 by d of x square. We just took this d on the other side. Here f of d is just d. But we know that 1 by d is nothing but integral. So we have to find out integral of x square with respect to x. And integral of x square is x cube by 3. So here in this case particular integral is x cube by 3. Next is a practice example for you. This is a similar kind of example that we solved earlier. You can tell your answer here. Let's go ahead for next example. Here question is to find the particular integral of d minus 3y is equal to x. In this case particular integral is given by 1 by d minus 3 of x. To solve 1 upon d minus 3 of x we are going to use this formula where here a is 3. So value of 1 upon d minus 3 of x is given by e raised to 3x into integration of e raised to minus 3x into x dx. Here capital X is small x. Now let's evaluate this integral. Integral of e raised to minus 3x into x dx can be obtained using by parts rule. Here we will take u is equal to x and v is equal to e raised to minus 3x. So according to it, value of this integral will be u that is x into integral of v that is integral of e raised to minus 3x which is e raised to minus 3x upon minus 3 minus integral of integral of v into derivative of u dx. Now let's evaluate this integral e raised to minus 3x upon minus 3's integral is e raised to minus 3x upon 9. So finally we get this answer. Now we take this e raised to 3x inside so that this e raised to minus 3x will get cancelled from each of these two terms. So our final answer is minus x by 3 minus 1 by 9. This is particular integral of the given differential equation. Look at the next example. Here we are asked to find the particular integral of d plus 3y is equal to sin 2x. Here pi will be given by 1 upon d plus 3 of sin 2x. To solve this, we are going to make use of this formula. Here we will put a is equal to 3. When we do so, value of 1 upon d plus 3 of sin 2x is given by e raised to minus 3x into integral of e raised to 3x into x that is sin 2x here into dx. To solve the integral of e raised to 3x into sin 2x dx, we have to use formula of integral of e raised to ax sin bx dx. Here a is 3 and b is 2. Value of this integral is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. So let's substitute a is equal to 3 here and b is equal to 2 here. By doing so we get value of this integral as e raised to 3x upon 3 square plus 2 square into 3 sin 2x minus 2 cos 2x. 
Now let's multiply this e raised to minus 3x inside. So this e raised to 3x will get cancelled. 3 square plus 2 square is 13. So particular integral is 1 by 13 into 3 sin 2x minus 2 cos 2x. I hope you understood these steps. This is a practice example for you. You can tally your answer over here. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions or not. Wait, we have some more examples. Look at this next example. Here we are asked to solve d square minus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to e raised to 2x. Since question is to solve this differential equation, we have to find its complete solution that is cf plus pi that is complementary function plus particular integral. So let's first find out complementary function. To do so, we need corresponding auxiliary equation and that is d square minus 4d plus 3 is equal to 0 in this particular case. Now let's solve this quadratic equation in d. We see that roots of this quadratic equation are 1 comma 3. So these roots are real and distinct. Therefore, the corresponding complementary function is given by c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to 3x. I hope you remember the technique to find complementary function. To recall this technique, please use the link given in the description box. Now let's find particular integral. The corresponding particular integral in this case is given by 1 upon f of d of e raised to 2x. But this f of d now can be written as d minus 1 into d minus 3. Now we will apply partial fraction to split this term into two terms. So after partial fraction, we have this expression as 1 by 2 into minus 1 upon d minus 1 plus 1 upon d minus 3. This e raised to 2x as it is. Now let's operate these terms on e raised to 2x. Carry forwarding this term in my next slide. 1 upon d minus 3 of e raised to 2x and 1 upon d minus 1 of e raised to 2x are the expressions of the type 1 upon d minus a of capital X. Its value is given by this formula. In this first case, a is 3 and in the second case, a is 1. So using this formula, values of these two terms is given by e raised to 3x into integral of e raised to minus 3x into e raised to 2x dx minus e raised to x into integral of e raised to minus x into e raised to 2x dx. Now this e raised to minus 3x into e raised to 2x is e raised to minus x and e raised to minus x into e raised to 2x is e raised to x. So we get this. Now integral of e raised to minus x is minus e raised to minus x and integral of e raised to x is e raised to x. So next we get this step e raised to 3x into e raised to minus x is e raised to 2x and this is also e raised to 2x. So finally we get minus e raised to 2x minus e raised to 2x which is same as minus 2 times e raised to 2x. This 2 and 2 gets cancelled and we get minus e raised to 2x as particular integral of this differential equation. Finally to write the complete solution of the given differential equation, we add both the solutions that is complementary function and particular integral in this way. This is complete solution of the given differential equation. In this solution, to find out the particular integral, we have used partial fraction technique. Next, I am going to show you the second technique of finding particular integral for the same differential equation. Look at here, the particular integral is given by 1 upon f of d into e raised to 2x. This time I am not going to use the method of partial fraction to split these terms. Instead, I am going to use parenthesis. 
So this same expression can be now written as 1 upon d minus 1 into in brackets 1 upon d minus 3 of e raised to 2x. Let's solve this. Now I hope you remember the formula. Value of this is given by e raised to 3x into integral of e raised to minus 3x into e raised to 2x dx. e raised to minus 3x into e raised to 2x is e raised to minus x and integral of e raised to minus x is minus e raised to minus x and e raised to 3x into e raised to minus x is e raised to 2x. Now let's operate this 1 upon d minus 1 on minus e raised to 2x. For that we will use this formula in which we will put a is equal to 1. So value of this expression is e raised to x into integral of e raised to minus x into minus e raised to 2x dx. e raised to minus x into e raised to 2x is e raised to x and integration of e raised to x is e raised to x and e raised to x into e raised to x is e raised to 2x. So the corresponding particular integral is minus e raised to 2x. I hope you remember the particular integral that we found using method of partial fraction. It was also minus e raised to 2x. So this proves that both the methods gives you the same answer. You can use any method that is convenient to you to find the particular integral. Next is a practice example for you. You can tell your answer with this one. I hope I have cleared how to find out particular integral of the linear differential equation with constant coefficient in this video. This was the first method of finding particular integral. And in this method, we focused on various cases on f of d. In my next video, I will show you how to find out particular integral by focusing on RHS capital X that is function of X instead of focusing on various cases on f of d. So don't forget to watch my video. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.